This is how people who live there saw it. Beautiful shoreline, proud ancient culture. This is how they find it today. Behind us is the seawall that protects this community from the ocean. The amazing thing is the concrete is so thick that the water took this concrete and just pushed it around like it was a toothpick. But often in times of great crisis, we're gonna work our way across the street. The world can seem very small. Push, 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 push. It reminds me of like tornadoes whenever they would hit a town in Missouri. Just complete and utter devastation, but on a much grander scale. Staff Sergeant William Russell is from Columbia, Missouri. You good? He is among the many people here from Misawa Air Force Base helping tsunami survivors in Noda Village turn, 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 turn. sift through what's left of their lives. <laughs> this was Fusa Hariyama's home. <laughs> she and her family are living in a shelter now. <laughs> she says 37 people in this block did not make it to safety. I found a photo album that obviously belongs to some of the residents that were living here at the time. You find photographs and things like that, it makes you realize that it's, you know, you're actually in what were people's homes. Sergeant uh, Travis Haywood was born in Kansas reality. City. You, know, you see it on TV is one thing, but to actually set foot in it, it brings it, it, br it really brings it home. First, I thought it was just a typical, you know, northern Japan small earthquake, but it didn't stop and it seemed to get more powerful. Matthew Bradley attended St. Mary's High School in Independence. A videographer, he helped the world see what he saw. Just the amount of devastation just blew my mind. I'd never seen anything like that before in my life. The homes and businesses destroyed on land are only part of the challenge. A helicopter ride away with a familiar helmet on board. The USS Tortuga is cleaning up the bottom of the sea. What we're doing is making sure that the main shipping channels and the piers are clear of obstacles. My crew is, is, is literally chomping at the bit to help out. Adrian Ragland support. is also from Kansas City. In fact, this aircraft carrier is practically a suburb. Born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, grew up in Raytown. Keith Madison Carter is the chaplain of this ship, capable of carrying 1,000 people. HTFN Pierce Latini from Grandview, Missouri. Eddie B from Lee Summit, Missouri. The people of Japan will not remember the hometowns of the people helping them. You ever see a tornado? It's like 20 times worse, isn't it? <laughs> but they will never forget what they did here. Battered by Mother Nature, embraced by human nature. To us, it's pretty exciting just to be able to say that we played a significant role Sweet. in helping this country to rebuild. Being a part of this volunteer project has been one of the greatest experiences in my eight year career. If there's anything that I would like to tell my kids uh, about this is that the greater good is more important than anything. When you see someone in need, you offer that help. 